Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Joe, you got another video? Yeah, yeah, nigga. Wait. 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 Take heat, fuck these niggas. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, the homie Joey. Now listen, bro, listen. We gonna switch it up for all my down fans in Morocco. We gonna switch that thing up for the one time. Now listen, we got the Gang Warfare in Baton Ratch. Baton Ratch in NBA. 4K Trey versus TBG versus BBG. Now listen. You know what I'm saying? I'm a young boy fan. You know what I'm saying? And I, I want to get deeper into, you know what I'm saying, his beef with TBG and shit. And I got a bowl of motherfucking honeycomb cereal right here. And I want to be entertained. And, and what's a better way to be entertained while entertaining my niggas? You know what I'm saying? So, hey, listen. What I ain't afraid to do, bro. First things first. Y'all like these type of videos? Make sure y'all let me know, bro. We finna hop into it. Y'all know what time it is. I ain't talking about the one on the watch, chain gang, ain't no thing, Dookie Stain, chicken wine. You smell. Me, bitch, I ain't afraid of bitch, I speak so heavy, man. Free young boy, too. That nigga, mom. Bitch, bitch, play me first. That hoe. I remember that shit. Boulevard, I remember, I remember seeing that shit. I might say fuck his mama. Hey. Bro, this audio ass is hell. I know he's screen recorded this shit. Come on, say go dig all three of your dead brothers. Gangs associated with rappers in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, is among those to top the list. We are gonna bridge the gap between gangs in Baton Rouge from old school to the young. Oh yeah, for all the people that are here, in his camp, the dude who this young boy mama he dead now. But there be between the bottom boy gorillas, aka BBG, from OGs and one of the realest in the rap game, Boosie. The Boosie bad, eh? Lethal injection. Brucey, what you want to say to your fans, man? Anything? Yes. The NBA hey, bro. past mentor and homie turned op, Kevin Gates. I'm clicking the call, click on the dome of the long Smith and the snip at your long whiskers. You a wreck. I know it's not, but I'm making it your business. Baton Rouge has had some of the most influential rappers that live the life they rap. While some may not be associated with any clicker gang, they're respected in the hood for their savagery and credentials in the streets. We gonna run through some of the most notable hot spots before getting to the new breed of gangs right through the streets. We got the gangsters out in Sherwood, ah, Park, Ghost Town, Bankstown, Third Ward, aka Scotlandville, Port Allen, and Dixie. You see, there's a lot of different zones to be careful in when in Baton Rouge. With all the beefing and war zone brought in between rival zones and gangs, rappers always seem to be at the center of it. Some make it big, and their gang automatically is put on the map. One such gang is NBA Young Boys, 4KT, and 4K Trades. Now, Young Boy and his crew are associated with the Bottom Boy Gorillas, known as the BBG, and the two factions yeah. have been beefing heavy. <clears throat> That's Baton Rouge, man. Gang known as the Top Boy Gorillas, a.k.a. TBG. Now, you notice the names ain't that far off. That's because BBG and TBG are on opposing ends of Southside Baton Rouge. TBG is top side of Southside Baton Rouge, and BBG, the bottom side of Southside Baton Rouge. The thing is, people don't really know how these gangs started beefing. And if you know, man, it goes way deeper, and a lot of what's happening now really revolves around NBA Youngboy. Homies been lost their life on both sides for this beat. We gonna dive in and break it down, cause these dudes are about it for show when it comes to that game. So check it, we going back in time a bit. When Boosie came up, he was the first to really put Baton Rouge on the map on a large scale in the rap scene. Hey, that's facts. Homeboy, that's facts. Ivy, went on Nigga, my mama was bumping Lil Boosie bad ass, fool. That was the start of TV. Every fucking day, Sadly, bro. Sadly, Lil Ivy got deleted in 2005. But what he started will continue to this day. Now, YB was a youngin' when he got introduced to all this. He became cool with Lil Herc, who introduced him to his older brother, G Money. 
Later on, YB ended up becoming an affiliate of TVG, but later on moved on from the label for what was rumored to be money issues. Their ties could be seen in TVG's music video for iPhone 6, featuring Boulevard Mel, Fredo Bang, G Money, and YMM Captain. <laughs> Cameos, but bro, this, bro, hold on. Line, these, this shit is so crazy. I knew, I knew, like, you know what I'm saying? That, like, him and for um, uh, him and fucking G Money was cool, but this shit is so crazy seeing him and Fredo Bang in the same motherfucking video. Food, this shit is insane. It's not insane, this shit is like crazy because you, them niggas, like, that nigga, young boy, really don't fuck with TBG, bro. And he's wearing a TBG TBG jacket right now. Even OG3 right here. This is a crazy sight, bro. He went on to start his NBA movement. And as he started to do his thing, jabs to TBG began to spark fire. And YB headed out for TBG. As YB continued to blow, things got more out of hand. Word on the street is that YB was the reason that Lil Hurt and G Money got into a beef with his cousin, a true Baton Rouge savage, Boozilla. This led to G Money's homie Dusa being the one that was the trigger man that. I just got hit by a motherfucking air, bro. Don't want to hear this shit. Off Boozilla, and shit just went further out of control. Now we got to insert an important piece of information here, because it changes the trajectory of the gang warfare later on. Up and coming TBG star Fredo Bang was on the rise at this point. Him and G Money was like brothers. Like best friend, like that's my brother. Like, like when I was gone and from jail, like, he still stayed in my house. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's somebody I trust in my, my life, my soul. But he ended up catching the case for an attempted hit involving a situation between him and rapper Lil Fredo ain't do look like a motherfucking. Now, why I ain't finna say that. Sending shots at G, and G returned fire with the diss industry. Which got dirty about YB's sister. Not too long after the song's release, G Money got his lights turned off while Fredo was in prison. By Q I remember that affiliate. shit. Beyond that shit was Hill, crazy. Who was given the green light I ain't even listened to the track till after G Money died. Dumb. That's crazy. The thicken between YB, 4KT, BBG, and TBG. YB and BBG began aligning and continued to inherit beats with the rival TBG camp. There's a lot of speculation about what happened next between the gangs, but it's said that when Fredo's case got dropped and he returned home, TBG affiliate Boulevard quit. Was given the go ahead to deal with Dump, and Dump was shot up and deleted. This is damn. Was so he was behind it to a point of no return. Let yo. Some nigga just commented on my video saying I'm from Grove Street. He think he a funny ass nigga, but oh, damn, he had something to do with Dump. I know, I know niggas like, bro, how you don't know this shit? You a young boy fan. Listen, bro, that's why I'm watching the video, ugly ass nigga, so I get to the bottom of this shit. Damn, I ain't know that shit. That's tough. Who was the nephew of TBG founder Lil Ivy, was rumored to be included in Dump's demise. Dump's passing hit YB hard as hell. Hell yeah. Fans. And he released a song dedicated to Dump. At the same time, Lay Yoshi is coming in the rap game and drops a song, Blasting, where many speculate to be the detailed drilling of Dump. YB wasn't gonna let all that slide and got into it Boulevard Quick, who got pretty disrespectful about YB's mom. Oh, my f I ain't afraid of bitch. I speak on everything. Boy, f that f um, f play with me. That might got so disrespectful. That ho. If you know YB, he can get a bit crazy for the women in his life. And at the top of that list is his mom. Needless to say, he didn't take kindly to Boulevard Quick's words. Fuck my mom. I can see that need, man. It's a joke, man. Don't mix my rap life with my, my music life. In the not so far future, he was eating the shit out there, bacon too. <laughs> put out in Baton Rouge. The body count from each side just kept rising. TBG, BBG, and 4KT were becoming out of control in Baton Rouge and gaining notoriety as the new breed of gangs running the streets. Now that Lil Yoshi was on the prowl, shit was going crazy. His actions proved true to his lyrics. 
In 2019, amid the beef between BBG, Yoshi was arrested for shooting up four members of BBG and NBA's crew outside a convenience store. Lil Yoshi was Damn. shooting up bell, and it seemed this nigga Lil Yoshi a motherfucking a lit ass nigga, ain't it? The TBG. More of YB and BBG's associates was under attack, including BBG, Baby Joe, and later on, YB's brother, Big B, who were both shot, but survived. But then Baby Joe gets shot like a bunch of times. And Fredo had a lot of fun at his expense as info And then like died some shit like that. In a wheelchair because of the shooting. YB was getting closer to a tombstone. Maybe going against the TBG would become his downfall. Coming close to meeting the Reaper in Miami, when an attempt on his life was made, the gang life was creeping up on the buzzing rapper. Shots were fired right here outside the Trump International Hotel. I remember that too. It started with an argument between two groups of rappers who shot and killed. The girlfriend of the rapper, NBA Young. Yeah, she got hit. Five-year-old boy were both hit. Both are recovering this morning. Those shootings happened. And he went to perform after after this shit. Some say Lit Yoshi, who posted a vid in Miami at the time, riding with the strap, was the shooter. Bro, I think that nigga lit Yoshi the main shooter of TBG, ain't it? Luckily for YB and BBG, Yoshi couldn't see it. Hey, I'm glad hey, YB was straight though, real shit. For a string of nigga able to shed real nigga tears around this motherfucker. Lot of the La Playa apartment complex on Hanks Drive and another in July near the Mallard Crossing apartment complex on Greenwell Springs Road that injured four people in a nearby car. With Yoshi behind bars on charges and Bell said at 1.8 mil, he's not coming home anytime soon. It's all up to Fredo to carry CBG as his top artist and member. But with his status growing, hey. that doesn't look to be a bro. 1.8 mil. I fit. I'm talking like I'm a motherfucking TBG fan. I ain't gonna lie, 1.8 mil. I feel like Fredo. I feel like he gonna he gonna like you know what I'm saying. Get that shit. That's just me. But that's a lot of fucking money. The problem, though. unless YB and BBG has something to say about that. The lid is over the beef, and it's sure to be brewing. YB's 4KT, BBG, and TBG are causing mass in the streets and putting Baton Rouge on the map for good with music and for bad with the <sighs> gang culture. Maybe Baton Rouge savages and gangs will continue to get gritty and grimier without care, or they'll band together and stop the drilling. But that's it for this video let us know what you like <laughs> to see in the upcoming video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel i'm out hey first things first bro free free that free motherfucking um nba young boy real top bro free top bro i heard that they uh denied his um they denied um some like five hundred k in like two houses, bro, and like his mom was denied. That's fucked up. I think he facing like minimum like three years or something like that, five to ten. It's some it's somewhere some around there like that, bro. Free motherfucking NBA young boy, real talk. It be the video, it's your boy the homie Joey. Y'all know what time it is. I ain't talking about the one on the watch chain gang. Ain't no thing Doogie Stain Chicken Wayne. If y'all want me to check out Jackson v Jacksonville uh gangs, just hit me up in the comments, bro. And um, yeah, this shit is interesting. You uh, know, it's your boy the homie Joey, and I'm gone. It's your man.